How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be designing a poster in Photoshop CS1. I know the title is a little bit clickbaity, it's not the exact Photoshop 1.0, but that one didn't want to run on my computer. However, this is the original Photoshop Creative Suite, it's still old as hell, came out in 2003 according to Google, and I was only 6 years old then. Let's get into it. I don't think we need a tutorial. I think I can know my way around it just enough. It looks a little bit older, but I feel like all the OG kind of the basics are there, right? The one thing I mainly noticed was how it has like this feather. It's not even the, I don't think they got the PS um, logo to like CS3. One thing I'm noticing right away is this already opened up. I don't even have an artboard or anything. So let's get that going. I think we'll just do probably 16 by 20. I'll just stick with RGB since, you know, we're just gonna use this for like Instagram or something. I think before we do anything, I kind of have an idea in my head. I wanna go over to Unsplash and find some inspiration and find some images to use and we'll keep it pretty simple. I don't wanna get too crazy in this program, especially with not knowing if everything's gonna work out correctly. There's an image I found, I wanted to either use something like this and use it large by itself or get like four different images and create like a cool grid thing. See what else we could find. All right, I think I got everything I need, so I'm gonna close these out and try to just work within this one document so this doesn't get super confusing. The main thing throwing me off here is these old school, like these are like Windows, not 98, like I think Vista or XP style frames. Let's start creating some kind of frame for these. I wanna do like a rounded rectangle, I think. Um, Where are my controls for this? Hmm. I have to do it beforehand, it looks like. 50 pixels. Do they have smart guides yet? I doubt it, right? We have to actually be good designers and line that shit up ourselves. Oh, they do have the align tool, but I can't even click any of it. Why? <laughs> what the hell? All right, we'll just eyeball it. Let me create some guide layouts. This might be like 60 pixels. That ain't enough either. Oh, they don't have the undo even more. It's just back and forth like that. I think the main thing that they did was just add a lot of like quality of life features in some of the newer Photoshop's just make things a little bit easier. Now I want to create like a, I guess a bunch of these really kind of in a frame like this. I think that'll be cool. So let's duplicate this. I'll probably have to change the color so I could see what I'm doing. Why didn't it change? Red. That's enough, I think. It's not perfect, but when is it? Let's try to get our images in there. Ooh, it's gonna work, it looks like. Yeah. Cool, cool, let's line this stuff up. I think this could be a kind of cool little concept. Once I get it where I need it. Wish I had more room to, I guess that's a good spot for it. Kind of gives you all, all what we're looking at. And then I think we'll put this one on the bottom. Something like that. That's kind of cool. All right, I think we're we're getting started. It's like what? Yeah, 17 minutes in, we're getting started. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it at this point. Let's get these other ones placed in. All right, I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's get some type in here though. See if we can figure that out. What do I even want to say? Fluid? No, I want something that's like, not diversity, but something like that. Different places, you know? I might have to hit the thesaurus real quick. Three hours later. Range is cool. I might use that. And we already got the Alta Haas Grotesque out too. I don't want to use that though. There was a few cool like serifs and stuff I was messing with for this new project I'm on. Like that one's kind of cool. Does it have a bold? I don't think it does. Let's make it a little bit bigger though and see. Like 28, 245 or something. It's kind of cool, but it's a little soft. I feel like, yeah, I, I like this one. Let's do some finessing on it though. Where is my, they don't have the character panel back then? You said to do it all up here. Where, where are all the settings? Kerning and all that. And tracking, where is it? And if you got to this part of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like. It helps me out. Back to trying to figure this out. Oh, character. Okay, I'm just blind. There we go. Oh, I created like two new layers in the meantime. Let's get this cleaned up. I think that's pretty good. 
All right, let's get this type squared out. I wanted to do something big like this, but I'm running out of room. I might need to squeeze in this shape a little bit. Let's fix this shape up. I'll be back and figure that out. All right, that worked a little bit better than I thought it would. Let's move this type up some, slide these rulers in. I want to throw a little bit of like body copy on the bottom and, and texturize a little bit. I know this is like a pretty simple layout, but I didn't want to get too crazy with it because obviously I'm struggling even messing in the layers panel. So let's use that. Where's my thing? This needs to be way smaller. Maybe like 24, even 21 might be better. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do to kind of bring this all together a little bit. Let's see if uh, CS1 can handle the black market copy scan texture. This will be its ultimate test. Looks like it's gonna work. Also want some older paper though, kind of more of like a sepia. Do a photo filter though. Let's give it a warming just a little bit. Let me see if I could find some kind of older paper I could use for this. All right, let's see if this works. Kind of liking that. Nice little poster design. All right, I got it saved out. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I really hope you enjoyed the video and a special thank you to my patrons. Thank you for supporting what I do. If you enjoyed this video, it would really help me out if you hit the like button and you want to see me design some other stuff, you can check out this video here. I'll see you next time. Peace.